Let's bring in Dr. Steven Anderson. He's an emergency physician in Auburn, Washington. Dr. Anderson, let me begin by thanking you and all your colleagues for your service right now. You guys are on the front line of this battle. Just give everybody at home a sense of what that means every day and how you're holding up. Well, thank you very much uh, for speaking to your people watching today. There's a lot of stress. Um, it's a bit frightening. We're safe right at the moment if you have to come to the emergency department. But in 35 years of practice, I can say that this is the most anxiety that I have ever seen around the idea of an infectious disease. You know, in the past, we felt like we were on a different continent or we were safe from things like Ebola or we were in a different demographic with HIV. But this starts off with a cough and a low grade fever. And we just never know what's showing up at the front door. So I can tell you that the anxiety level is pretty high. And, but right and, now we're safe. Well, thank goodness for that. Do you all have the equipment you need right now, masks and other medical supplies, and more importantly, those ventilators and ICU units? Yeah, there's no question we need quicker and more tests. We certainly need more space to place people. We need ventilators. I have ventilators this morning, but the hospital up the street from me is out of ventilators at the moment. Um, and we can move things around. I think the big thing that we need on the front lines right now is personal protective gear for uh, my colleagues and myself. I've, I, you know, I've got my mask for today right here, um, and I'm guarding it with my life because it could be my life. Well, that, that, we that, have that, reportedly a two-day supply. Well, th thank goodness for two days, but you're going to need an awful lot more than that. And once you and your colleagues, the nurses, the other doctors, if any of you get sick, the entire hospital become, becomes a hot spot. It's hard to imagine the consequences of that. Well, we really don't have a deep bullpen. If people get sick and they're out, that takes people off the front lines to help with this. But by the same token, you don't want to be sick and be around the people that are coming to the emergency department who are already the sickest people in most need in America. So we're trying to test our healthcare workers as quickly and efficiently as we can and getting them back in the ball game if possible. Um, but you know what? We are on the front lines and it's scary. That's where the casualties always happen in any battle. You, you mentioned that the hospital down at your neighbor hospital does not have ventilators right now. That could, if that spreads to other hospitals, to your hospital, you all are going to have to make incredibly difficult, tragic decisions. Well, they're already doing that in Italy, and we haven't gotten to that resource uh, scarcity yet. Um, you know, in the past, we've had to make decisions about life and death for the entire history of emergency medicine, but it's never been strictly based on resources available. This is a whole new ball game for us. What is the most important thing everyone at home needs to know right now? Well, you know, if this peaks early and it peaks hard, we don't have the resources for this um, and we'll run out of ventilators in space. So you've heard it over and over again this morning. The important thing is that we need to flatten the curve. We need to make sure that if this goes on into June, that it's a gradual rise and fall. And the way that we need to do that right now is by socially isolating ourselves and, uh, and hunkering down so that we don't spread the virus. You can't do that, and you are protecting all of us. Thank you very much, Dr. Anderson. And I want to say thank you to all my colleagues on the front line, the doctors, the nurses, the housekeepers, everyone in emergency medicine. Um, it's, a, it's an honor to be a part of this battle, and I'm off to work today to do it again. We are all thinking of you. Thanks very much. Oh, my right. gosh, what he thank said you. there, especially mm -hmm. at the end, and, and, we are, and we share that. Every doctor, nurse, housekeeper, as he said, everybody that's there on the front lines fighting for us, we appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.